Congratulations on buying your Swagtron, the most advanced personal transportation device available on the market. Today what we're going to do is go over some of the basic features of your new Swagtron, in addition show you how to ride it. The polycarbonate frame is wrapped around the new Swagtron Sentry Shield technology that is absolutely flame retardant, it's also scratch resistant. In addition we have flame retardant foot pedals on the sides here. We have solid aluminum wheels for maximum heat dissipation, wrapped around hard rubber tires so you don't have to worry about any flats. As you can see here, this is the front. We have the power port here, and that of course turns it on. In addition to turning the Swagtron on, it also allows you to put it into training mode. Training mode kind of is a little bit of slower ride for beginning users for absolute safety. On the other side of this, we have a charging port, and of course you're going to plug your charger into there. Charge it until the charger indicates that it's completely full with a green light, and then immediately unplug it. On the top here, you'll notice the indicator lights. This is the battery indicator. Five green lights indicates a full battery, where of course less green lights indicates a less full battery. Uh, when you actually stand on the Swagtron, these lights will light up, indicating that you're actually standing on it and ready to ride. Both the front and the back do light up with the LED display. In the middle, connecting the two foot pedals, uh, we have the new Swagtron differential gear and that allows for maximum rider response to the Swagtron. Right here, you see the space for quad Bluetooth speakers, and you can sync your Swagtron with your iOS or Android device. You will notice that there is a carry strap. It is spring-loaded in addition to having Velcro. That's make sure while you're riding around there, it doesn't get caught on anything and it's absolutely safe. Now I'm gonna show you how to ride your Swagtron. Of course, the very first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is learn how to stop. So we're just gonna rest one foot on the Swagtron and you wanna to try to keep your foot perfectly plain. You'll notice if you point your toes down, the Swagtron will go forward and if you point your toes up, it will go backwards. But for now, you just wanna focus on keeping your foot plain and not moving the Swagtron at all. Once you're absolutely comfortable with keeping the Swagtron absolutely still, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and jump on it. You might wanna grab a kitchen chair or some type of a countertop or anything like that to go ahead and help you balance. Once you feel comfortable, we're gonna go ahead and mount the Swagtron. You might feel a little bit uncomfortable at first, you might uh, move around. At the end, you just want to relax and let the Swagtron balance itself. Remember, it's self-balancing, you only need to balance you. Once you feel a little bit more comfortable, we're going to go ahead and want to ride the Swagtron. So if we point both our toes down at the same time, we'll move forward. If we point both our toes up, we'll move backwards. Of course, now we're going to want to go ahead and try to turn. To turn right, you're going to keep your right foot plain while pointing your left toe down just slightly. And that'll give us a nice turn to the right. If you want to take a left turn, you're going to keep your left foot absolutely plain while pointing your right toe down slightly. And of course, once you get comfortable with it, you can actually make a very fast turn. Uh, what we're going to do is point our left toe downward and our right toe up. And that will allow a faster turn. Don't be discouraged if the first couple minutes on the Swagtron, you're slightly uncomfortable. That's absolutely normal. I promise after five minutes, you'll be riding like a pro. Congratulations and have fun with your new Swagtron.